Get your pens ready. Actually, get your keyboards ready. Uh, what if Al Gore is wrong? What if the consensus belief that humans are causing global warming is just plain incorrect? There is something called cascading, which, which uh, results in consensuses that are wrong. There's been many things written on this. For example, that fat uh, definitely causes heart disease. We know that, that that isn't necessarily true at this point. Our next guest believes that there are forces at work that are far larger than you and I when it comes to climate change. Joining us now, the man who has the title known as the father of climatology science. His name is Dr. Reed Bryson, senior scientist at the University of Wisconsin Center for Climatic, uh, or climatic not climatic, climatic uh, <laughs> research. Uh, also, uh, Professor Emeritus uh, at the university. And let's just get right to it, Professor. Is the Earth warming? Well, it's been warming for at least 300 years because we're coming out of the Little Ice Age. Is humankind causing the warming? For 300 years? No. Maybe some effect now. Back in 1968, I suggested that perhaps man could have some small effect on the climate. And I was left off the stage. All right. What about carbon emission? We, we, it is just de facto that, that carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is attributable to, to what people perceive as, uh, as causing global warming. Is it carbon dioxide? Is that the main effect on what determines the climate? I don't think so. Carbon dioxide, the effect that you calculate depends upon what kind of constants you stick into your model. You can make it do anything you want to. I know I've done enough climate modeling myself to know that I can make anything be the main fact. I don't think it's carbon dioxide because the effect of carbon dioxide is actually very, very small. Maybe a few hundredths of a, of a percent of what water vapor does, let's say. Water vapor, I've read that before. I've read water vapor. That, that's much more uh, powerful than, than CO2. What about... Uh, the sun, what about sunspots? What about radiation coming from beyond, uh, beyond the planet? Well, if you're going to wave your hands and say, let's uh, find some other thing other than carbon dioxide, you can grab it, almost anything and say it's uh, the number of porpoises in the ocean if you wish. Well, how in God's name do we get to this, to this uh, point where we are, where policymakers, where corporations, where, where 2,500 scientists have, have reached a consensus uh, that the earth is warming and it's due to human activities uh, related to, to greenhouse gas emission. Uh, well, how did we get to the point where we think that consensus is any way to get at science? Uh, after all, Copernicus once was uh, in the minority when he said that the earth went around the sun instead of the sun going around the earth. And uh, if we believed the consensus then, we'd still have the sun going around the earth. Consensus has nothing to do with scientific truth. Mr. Price, are you if everybody agreed on something, we would never have any progress. No new ideas at all. Dr. Price, are you saying, therefore, there's simply no need whatsoever for any controls on petroleum use, the Kyoto Treaty, any of that? There's simply no need for any of that? I didn't say that at all, nor did I mean that, because that's a different question. After all, petroleum and, and uh, those products are finite in amount, but don't mix it up with climatic change because you're talking about two different kinds of things. It, it, doctor, is there something for mankind to look at, at the age of the earth in, in, uh, through the, the prism of one's own life? Isn't that just absurd right, right from the start? I mean, you have made the case that, that if you look at hundreds or thousands of years, we may actually be entering a cooling phase where we're headed towards an ice age, not um, you know New York being swamped by a tidal wave. Well, in the last couple million years, that's a pretty good sample, we've been through a number of ice ages, and they come at predictable intervals. And uh, my calculations are that we'll be in the next ice age and and with the maximum ice in about... 8,000 years. So don't buy but a winter coat. Don't buy a winter coat necessarily based on that, but people are doing that based no, on that, global warming on the, right now. That's on the century scale. On a century scale. And uh, they're talking about on the year and, and decade scale. Well, And I don't think they can make a forecast even for 10 days, much less for 20 years. 
You, you live in Madison. I would get yourself a, a food taster. Uh, I'd have someone start your car. I'm not sure why we're, we've arrived at this point in time, but uh, you must be uh, ostracized by your peers at this point and, and um, accused <laughs> of taking money from the petroleum industry, I'm sure. Oh, yes, I've been accused of that sort of stuff, but I've never had any, any money even from the U.S. government for the last 30 years or so because I had a patron and the patron said, the only thing I want you to do is to tell the truth. Mm. All right. Appreciate your time. No other strings. Appreciate your time today, Professor. Very much. See you later. Okie doke. Right, stay, stay cool.